a thousand square miles of Britain are flooded. A disaster as great as that which brought havoc to the Fenland earlier this year sweeps northern England and southern Scotland. Acres of Britain's most picturesque countryside are underwater. Torrential August rains make fast-flowing rivers break their banks and bring the border country's worst floods in memory. Pressure of water from the River Eye and its tributaries sweeps away piers supporting five railway bridges on the main London-Edinburgh route. Suspended crazily in mid-air, the lines will be out of normal action for some time. Slowed down trains diverted on cross-country routes hinder commerce and bring delays to the whole nation. Many villages throughout Berwickshire are completely cut off. Farmers held up by summer rain face losses they describe as catastrophic. Damage runs into millions of pounds. In Duns, the Cumlidge blanket mills, the largest of their kind in Scotland, are wrecked. Buried under a wall of mud, valuable machinery is ruined. In the nearby fishing village of Eymouth, boats washed up by the rising water are stranded in the main street. As the floods recede, the fight to salvage what is left begins. Cumlidge villagers take stock of the few belongings left to them by the torrents. Evacuated when the streets became rivers, they returned to find their homes destroyed. Victims of one of the worst tragedies for many years, the people of the border country face a grim reconstruction task with determination. The ordeal they have been through will leave a permanent scar.